Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and today we're going to go over the answers to the questions posed in the group by blog. So the first question that was asked is, what is the average quantity ordered in the order details table? So there's the question, and the answer is simply to use an aggregate function across the whole table to achieve the desired uh, answer. So we're doing select average of the quantity from order details. So the average quantity is 62.55. All right. So the next question is display the min, max, and average quantity ordered for each product in order details. So when I see for each product in order details, that's a hint for me that I need to use group by. So really what we're going to be doing is the min, the max, and average of quantity from order details, and we're going to group by product ID. So I have a SQL statement here that does that. You can see where I said select product ID the min quantity, max quantity, and average from order details we're grouping by the product ID. So when I run that, I get the min, the max, and then the quantity. So the last question, which is a little harder, is return total sales by product for all orders, but only include products included in seven or more order details. So let me paste this in so we can look at it. So return total sales. We know how to do that. That's the quantity times the price by product. All right. That looks like we're going to do a group by product ID across all order details. So I'm really not using a where clause, but only include products included on seven or more order details. All right. So to me, that's starting to hint towards a having clause, right? Because I need to know, um, seven or more means I'm going to have to do some kind of count. So I'm going to be doing a count on how many times it's in the group. So I can only do those types of things in a having clause. So let me show you the SQL statement that I came up with and see if you agree with me on this. You can follow along. You can see I got select product ID and here's the total sales, the unit price times quantity from order details. Again, we're going to group by product ID, consider it here by product, having count of product ID greater than seven, seven or more. So this is really should be greater than or equal to seven, right? So I caught a mistake I had made there. And when I run that, those are uh, the result. So if you have any questions about my answers or have any other questions about SQL in general, you can tweet me at SQL Chris or leave a comment on my blog and I'll get back to you. Have a great day.